Turning into college, the Toledo Rockets opened fall ball this morning at the Glass Bowl. For the first three days, the squad's holding split practice sessions. UT has been nothing but consistent over the past decade, posting a winning record each season since 2010. That being said, Toledo is getting a facelift as they look to replace at least 12 starters from last year's 7-6 squad. BCSN's Claire Dahl caught up with the Rockets following their first official day of the 2019 campaign. It's coming together. Um, it's our first day, but um, I think it was a good day. Um, I mean, got to get the dust off a little bit, but just flying around there and just trying to get the little things, uh, pay attention to those little details on the first day and uh, try to build days. I think the biggest thing is we have a lot of young guys that can really help us out. Um, I think this this class of freshmen um, is one of the deepest we've had. There's a lot of talent. Um, we got some transfer guys in that have a lot of talent also. Um, so definitely excited to see them go. And then obviously um, our O line, my running backs, and everything. Um, very excited to see them get going. Perhaps the biggest news coming out of day one of UT's fall football camp, senior center Bryce Harris will miss the remainder of the year after suffering a knee injury. The preseason Remington Award candidate has started 30 games for UT during his tenure. While his talent will surely be missed, so will his leadership. You guys an extension of your coaching staff. I mean, <laughs> that guy's a Mac Media Day. That guy's a... He's, he's the, one of the faces of what this thing looks like. But like I said, I, we, we had to go down and play Arkansas without Kareem Hunt. We had to play the rest of the season without Cody Thompson when his injury happened. We've been down this road before. Um, and you know, now the guys that have maybe had to take a step back and, and say, hey, Bryce is kind of the solidified and locked in as that starting center. Uh, my turn may come at a later date. They get pushed to the front of the line. So um, yeah, it's a big deal because like, he's, the kid's so important to us and he means so much to our football team and our, and our, and our coaching staff. And, um, you know, but uh, life goes on and we move on, we press on. And that's, I think, what Bryce would want to have happen. Personality wise, I don't think we'll really lose him. Um, he, he's still, I guarantee he's still going to be along us every step of the way um, in practice, at games, and everything, in everybody's ear, in between plays, whatnot. And he's going to be doing as much as possible to be there for us mentally. Um, for, in all aspects of the game pretty much, both on and off the field. So I don't really think we're going to lose him. The only part we'll really lose is maybe his physical capabilities. In Toledo, Claire Dow, BCSN.